Several mink in Utah have tested positive for the virus known to cause COVID-19. Those cases came from two separate unnamed farms. Fox 13's John Franke is on Capitol Hill with a look at how this is another big blow to an already struggling industry. John. Yeah, guys, Utah is actually the second largest producer of mink in the nation. But this year, about half of the farms in the state have shut down because of the COVID-19 pandemic and the economic impact that that's had. This new news is another blow to an already struggling industry. It has just been nothing but a roller coaster, honestly. Clayton Beckstead is a member of the Utah Farm Bureau. He's also a mink farmer. With the coronavirus in general, it's just really shut the world down. 2020 has not been kind. We haven't been able to sell any of our product, and so, you know, it's just been really, really devastating. We're down to 38 farms in Utah now. A year ago, we were at 65. Um, you know, these are family farms, multi-generational farms. This news from the State Department of Agriculture and Food was the last thing mink farmers needed. Five animals testing positive for SARS-CoV-2, the virus that causes COVID-19 in humans. The affected farms have reported positive cases of COVID-19 in members of their staff. However, there currently remains no conclusive evidence that animals, including mink, play a significant role in transmitting the virus to humans. The state veterinarian did not name the affected farms. Right now, more tests are being done to confirm, but it appears the mink are not spreading the virus to humans. Currently, we don't have any confirmed cases where that has happened. That's one reason why Clayton isn't panicking. During a year, that's delivered plenty of other reasons to worry. Since we've worked hand in hand with the Department of Ag and, and the Health Department, they're telling us this is a non-issue. Um, that, that, there, that we shouldn't be worried, that there's no science saying that it go, can go from animal to human. And those impacted farms are being quarantined. Clayton and the other farmers are taking this seriously with several safe precautions. precautions. Their employees are required to wear masks, face shields, gloves, and special boots. Reporting live in Salt Lake City, John Franke, Fox 13 News, Utah.